What's going on, my friends? I'm going to get on here real quick and uh, chat about something just one second. You know, years ago, and you guys are in his group, Dan Graham. It's a uh, composer's guide to library music. Great group to be in. There's a few good, you know, groups out there. I've mentioned them before. But uh, Dan Graham runs that group. And years ago, I read Dan's book. And it's called A Composer's Guide to Library Music. And I was just thinking about it. I said, you know, I have forgotten what his reasoning for doing 52 tracks a year was. And it, I've already laid you down, laid down the logic of the 52 tracks of how easy it is to achieve that. And then multiples, how exponentially you can grow that. Some of you might think I'm crazy for wanting to do 400 tracks this year, but it can be done. I promise you. Doing a queue a day is enough. You do that and you're getting somewhere. But he starts digging deep in the book about, you know, how long it takes to get some, some tracks going to good libraries. But it's like I've always said, it's, and I've always wondered why I said this. Well, one being for, I can see it from experience, but two, it's based on some things that were told to me and he was one of them. Guys, you got to go get this book. You know, I, I hate to say this, but I'm not being negative when I say it. Please don't email me and ask me to send it to you. Do the right thing. If you believe in what you want to do musically, go buy the book. Um, the web page is composers, a composer's guide to library music.com. Just look up a composer's guide to library music book, and the link is there, and you can buy it there. In fact, guys, I'll tell you real quick. Um, it's it's not that much. Uh, composer's guide. Hang on one second to library music. There's a web page directly to it. It's librarymusicbook.com is the web page. Library book. I'm sorry, let me repeat this. Librarymusicbook.com. And when you click buy now, the price on it is $20, folks. Go spend $20.31 and go get this book. I'm telling you right now, folks, it's a good short read, and it will break it down. It will also get you inspired. Um, he's not doing it to sell a book. If you know Dan, he's doing it to help. He's been doing this a long time. You know, he's a really good guy. I've met him before. And uh, go get the book, man. This is one of many tools here that will help you. I hadn't read it in a long time. I can't remember when I bought it. It's been years. I'm reading it again because... Making sure I haven't missed something, you know? It's one of those things that there's a detail there somewhere. i got to lock back into it. Because when you first read this and you're just starting out, you're going to kind of overlook some details that become important later. Keep that book. Don't just buy it and throw it out. Do the right thing and go get that book. Read it. Break it down. Because he's got a good step-by-step -step process. It's quick and easy, but it makes sense. And what I've told you is what's worked for me. I can tell you right now what's worked for me. His concept works, folks. And he's not the only one. I'll tell you something else to follow, too. And I've mentioned him before because he read the book and he believes in that premise. Is Dave Croft. Go follow Dave Croft's YouTube. And he's got a, a, a really good um, Patreon where it's just a dollar a month and you can watch him compose. He uses Logic Pro, which now I've got a reason to watch him compose more and more because I need to lock into some techniques in Logic Pro that he uses. And Dave's just an amazing talent. Dave teaches, and if you want to know his credibility, he teaches production music at Full Sail University. So you get a free Full Sail education, well, somewhat. But you can get the abbreviated of it. You, you, you'll learn a lot from Dave and this book. It's a good start, folks. It's a good start. Read it. You won't be disappointed. We'll see you on the next video. Be cool. Bye.